what up YouTube it's your boy one rich and I am back with another <laughs> back with another hit man oh so man uh this video is gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna be posting on Shay and one rich channel and my one rich gaming man Shay rich he's at work uh I'm off today I'm taking a little bit off from working out man I think I sprained something in my shoulder man so my shoulders kind of been hurting so that's why I'm not as hyped when I'm doing my hits but uh this is a Dragon Ball Legends video and stuff, man. Uh, it should be coming up shortly, man. I wanted to be one of the ones that, you know, do it, you know what I'm saying, while it's fresh, and then put it out to you guys. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying, before the video starts, man, I just want to ask you guys, if you guys could please, 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 please like, comment, and subscribe to our uh, to our channel and the One Rich Gaming channel, man. Um, it'll be in the descriptions below. Uh, but... We go into this video, man. It should be beginning shortly, man. I don't know what to be. I don't know what to expect. I know, you know, Dragon Ball Legends, it's a mobile game. I, I figure I'd do this one by myself because I know Shay Rich, she don't really mess with mobile games aside like, you know what I'm saying, Toon Blast and stuff like that. So, video, as y'all see, is about to start, man. But, like, I'm not sure what to think on what characters they're going to bring, man. So, I'm excited. To see what legendary finished characters they're gonna bring out. You know what I'm saying? Um saving my stones up because I'm sure it's gonna be something I'm gonna want. And go from there, man. Yeah, I play, I've been playing Dragon Ball Legends since day one, man. This is my first time actually like doing a video on it. Normally I just watch the video and watch everybody else say, but you know what? I figured I'd do something different. You know, bring out content a little bit early for you guys. Hey, this must say two, but it's not even going down. I mean, a little bit of content for you guys and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? As you see, I'm playing Dragon Ball Legends right now. I'm just ready and curious to see what this is. 60, 60 seconds. 60, 60 seconds. We're gonna see what this video is about though, man. I'm I'm um pretty stoked on it. I know it's like some leaks and stuff that came out, but normally I don't go by leaks. I, I mean I listen to them with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? Cause you never know, cause sometimes like people might leak something and they, they, they have to switch it up. But we're gonna see, man, we're gonna see what's gonna be new to this game, man. I just ask like Dragon Ball Legends, man. Y'all need to fix uh PvP, man. Uh because I mean honestly. I don't look forward to PvP. Only time I play it is just to get like my challenge for the day for the rise and rush. And that's about it, man. But if, if I can go without playing PvP, man, I would, man. I can't stand it, man. It's just it's it's still buggy, man. It's a lot of cheaters on there. People who cut off their Wi-Fi or whatever, or cut their Wi-Fi on and cheat. But let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm the advertising producer Kai. It's good to be back again. And today we have Hello everyone, I'm Leo. I, I work with Toshi as one of the producers of Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, it's great to finally be a part of Video and Stuff. This month, it will be the two of us presenting Video and Stuff, but any idea what happened to Toshi? Uh, sadly, uh, he he's injured his back, so this month I'll be taking his place. That's terrible news. I hope he gets better soon. For now, we do our best with our shaky English. So everyone, please forgive us for any slip apps. We hope you still enjoy the show. This month, we'll be talking about the currently live 50 million user campaign, upcoming updates, and more, so stay tuned. Well then, let's kick things off with our first segment, present update info. Here, we'll be sharing info on our big update coming soon to versions. First up is this. Please take away the Right. Uh, as of now, when you use multi Z power, you have to claim them from the gift box and use them one by one, uh, which takes up a lot of time. So, we have plans to improve this by making the multi Z power usage take as little time as possible. This is one of the ambitious updates we mentioned in previous video and stuff. Mm. It was a real annoying before, so I think this is a great improvement. Next up is... I think this change will make a lot of people happy. 
I bet. Uh, originally, when collecting mission completion rewards from missions like unlocking boost panels or clearing story chapters, uh, you have to do it one by one. With this update, as soon as a mission is completed, and the next will be unlocked. So you'll be able to complete a bunch of missions in one go and then collect all the rewards at once. You had to tap so many times after Sora boosting a road. Yeah, That's it cool. wasn't great. Next, check this out. Before, you had to go to the tournament of power screen to see how much DP you had. Uh, but after the update, you'll be able to check it from the home and menu screens. This update is for everyone who's missed out on playing the Tournament of Power because they didn't realize their TP was restored. I sometimes forget to check when my TP has been fully restored too. So this will be a big help. Mm. Yeah, it will be. I agree. Auto Adventure. A new feature is coming that automatically launches adventures using the job requests you have. Uh, prioritizing event job requests. This is a feature that's perfect for players who don't want to spend time picking out job requests and characters each time to fill their adventure slots. Plus, uh, this feature will also unlock new slots for you if you have the necessary items. Having it all done automatically will be so awesome. Of course, I'm sure there are. I mean, that's cool and all, uh, but like when you're trying to like do the uh, for the what's it called, mission men, you, I, I want that to be in rotation so first before that. One, so worry, I, I probably uh, will still do totally my own possible. missions on there. And next up is consecutive equipment upgrade feature. Uh, with this feature, you can select how many times uh, in a row an uh, equipment slot is deleted and upgraded. Uh, when you get a slot that's yellow rank or above, or if the rank increases, the re upgrading will stop. So now, upgrading your equipment will so take less time. Just be careful not to use all your items and zenny in one go. For all the players who previously thought upgrading equipment was a bit of a hassle, uh, definitely give this feature a try. Okay, that's cool. Uh, for example, if you are trying to find characters with the abilities that back the health of science, uh, having to check them all one by one can take a super long time. Yeah. But it'd be so much easier to find characters with uh, the abilities you are looking for with this filter. I've been looking forward to this, being able to easily make parties while keeping characters' abilities in mind will make Legends even more fun. Absolutely, especially because before you had to go into the details of each character to check their abilities. Uh, to help you get a clearer picture of what we mean, let's take a look. First, pick the rarity or episodes you want to find then pick effects such as health or strike attack. By doing this, only the applicable characters you are looking for will show up. It's a super useful feature, so be sure to give it a try. Hmm. Battle version 2.4. Uh, we'll also be making some improvements to the battle system. First of all, as you may know, uh, there is a currently a uh, way for players to restore uh, key dwelling a uh, combo by not performing uh, any actions in a small window between using Earths. Yeah. The issue is, by using this technique and allowing for small intervals made combo, players can avoid the penalties to kill recovery and Dragon Ball acquisition chance that would normally apply to things like step combos, right? Yes, uh, ultimately, this kind of stuff turns the odds in favor of the fatest drawing characters, uh, which is something we want to avoid. So, uh, at the moment, uh, we are considering making it so the reductions apply uniformly in all cases, except for uh, the fastest combos where you link Earth's cards directly. Pocket Vanish is also going to become easier to understand too, right? Yes. It is. 
Uh, when you perform a vanishing step at the same time, the enemy ac activates an earth attack. If it's de deemed a successful perfect vanish, then a special visual effect and accompanying sound effect will trigger. Uh, this will help players get a better sense of time uh, when they can and can't perform a successful counterattack. <laughs> Okay. If you can put up the perfect vanish, you can counterattack easily. So making it easier to understand is a great change. Just remember that if the special effect and the sound effect activate, that's your chance. Also, uh, we we've, we've been receiving some feedback about how the current gameplay already favors waiting for your opponent to make a move. And this is something we are discussing and will continue to discuss with the development team. We also have some changes planned for core battles. Uh, first of all, we'll be buffing the effect of the taunt. After activating taunt, uh, you temporarily take less damage. Next, when you and your body choose the same Earth card for Rising Lash, it do even more damage. Mm. In essence, uh, we hoping to make it easier to pull off epic comebacks. Until now, the risk of being invaded made going for big damage a real scary. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone go for that ultra perfect rising lash. Oh. Uh, we should mention that uh, ultra perfect rising lash is what we are calling it when you and your body choose the same art skirt. Uh, when you perform a rising rush with your body, uh, that's just a ultra rising rush. So far, we've shared a ton of info on the upcoming update. But we've got lots more planned, including making it so you can easily find resin limited characters in their character list, so there's still plenty to look forward to. That's all for Resin's update. They're gonna pick Hello, PvP, everyone, so I'm, I'm happy to about the that. They're gonna news. fix it up a little bit. This month, I'll be your newscaster. Super Saiyan Cabbage Tenkai Awaken is coming. Super Saiyan Cabbage has some abilities that can buff Visita, so be sure to try using them together. That's right, back by popular demand, it's a Hoi Poi event. It's been tweaked a little bit since everyone last saw it, so get ready. Okay. I shot my limits on my own way. On my own time. What? What? Quit playing, bro. Hey. Yep, I'm saving my songs. I knew that was going to bring them. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Final explosion. I need that Vegeta. I want that. Dang, that's dope. I wasn't expecting that one. SSGSS Vegeta is a range type character with Episode Universe Survival Saga, Tag Gotki, and Tag Vegeta Family. After using yeah. Earth's if his key is below a certain amount, he restores key and gains some buffs. Dang. So if you string together his arts skillfully, you can get a lot of value out of this ability. Thanks to things like his special cover change against blast arts, his defense is near flawless. Combine that with his long-lasting special arts effect, and like many. Legend limited characters before him. SSG SS evolved. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man. I saw like the one with Kel and Kalipa, house. but this one's That's random. Like Legends news. They, I, I wasn't expecting this one, man. That, hey, I knew Vegeta was coming. Watching your Legends news was That's a dope, nice man. change of pace. 
That's dope. I'm excited about that. I'll be saying my song for that Vegeta. I was really nervous. But it was so much fun to be able to present things to the players myself. Well, we brought you a lot of info on the upcoming update in today's video and stuff. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a longer version, and so we couldn't help but share everything we could think of. Right. I think from next time we'll try to include some other special segment too. Uh, being with some of the viewers or something seems like it would be fun. That does sound pretty fun. We have to get Toshi involved. <laughs> Yeah. We've got a ton of fun ideas for the future. Yep, well that's all for today with and stuff. Thank you for time in and we hope you guys continue to enjoy the 50 million user campaign. Bye! Bye. Yeah man. Thank you for watching. So that means there's no other character. See that's why you should never go by uh by leaks, because when you go by when you go by leaks, man, uh it's it's never it's never what they say it's gonna be. You know what I mean? Um, they uh like the the leaks they were saying, man, were that that uh it's gonna be it was gonna be L R Kel and Khalifa, but that was the room that was the rumor. But like I said, you always gotta. When you hear rumors, you always gotta like just go with it with a grain of salt. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting the Evolution Blue Vegeta. I'm actually excited about that. I got two thousand stones on my thing, so I know he's gonna probably be like a thousand, like to try to to try summon for. But I'm for it, man. Um, I I'm excited, man. I'm I'm excited about that, man. It's dope, man. But yeah, man. Um, there you go, man. Legends and stuff. And like when they do another video, you know, what I'm saying if this one's a success. I'll definitely do more on both on both of my YouTube channels I got. But yeah, man. If you guys leave in the comments, how hyped how hyped are you guys about this Vegeta? So I'm sure if they do an update, it'll probably be an update tonight. So we might get Vegeta either tomorrow or Thursday. Usually when they drop characters, they normally after they have their thing, it's normally like a day or two after they drop it. So yeah, man, I won't yeah, I'm I'm speechless, man. I knew they was gonna bring them because they they got ultra ultra instant Goku, but not the master one. I'm sure we'll see him soon, since, especially since we just got Evolution Blue Vegeta. Uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. But on that note, y'all, I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to actually stream on my channel, man. The uh, the Avengers DLC drops today, Black Panther. So I'm be getting a shower real quick. You know what I'm saying? Change it to my uh, Avenger attire. So I can get ready for this DLC. Man, I've been waiting for this DLC for a long ass time. So I cannot wait. You know what I'm saying? I should be having a, a squad cast member on there with me. If y'all guys don't know, we have a, a Twitch channel. A squad cast uh, 420, I believe. Uh, you know, by Ink Slinger. He made that. And also, got I got a Twitch too, but I haven't started my Twitch yet. I just made it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see how how our other Twitch goes. If not, then I might like do both of them and see where it goes today. But... I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Uh, be ready for another video today when Miss Shay Rich get out. We're going to find something for you guys, entertain you guys. And, yeah, man. So, you, know, you already know what it is, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to holler at y'all later, man.